when I say he froze, I mean myself. Friends, cause I can't redeem myself. Bye. Shalom, shalom. This is El Dayo from One Nation, One Power, coming back to you again. Uh, I just want to address a few things out there for my uh, so-called Native American brothers and sisters. I'm sitting here right now, and I'm holding a book in my hand that I've had for a while now. And I'm going to show you this book. And when I show you this book, uh, it's going to trip you out going to trip you out with this is what's on the cover of this particular book. So for all of you out there, so-called Native Americans, I want to say to you, what I'm about to show you, if you have been sitting on the fence, if you have been in doubt as to what we're trying to tell you, that you are of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, when I get done showing you maybe just the cover of this book, just maybe your eyes will open up and you'll begin to question everything that you have believed. All right? You ready? This book was written by Manasseh Ben Israel called The Hope of Israel. This is a reprint. Look what the front of this book says. Indians are Jews. An introduction by Lynn Glazer. See that? Indians are Jews. Question mark. You can't be an Indian because Christopher Columbus gave you that name. So what's the other, other name that's on this book for all of you so-called Native Americans? What's that other name? Jews. Are these people Indians or are they Jews? We know they're not Indians because Christopher Columbus gave you the name Indian. Excuse me. But this book is called The Hope of Israel by Manasseh Ben Israel. This guy was Jewish. This guy had to pay for his own printing company and print this book himself. They did not want this information to get out, period. Nobody during the 1600s would print this information. So he took it upon himself to put forth this information in a book. Now. Let me talk to you for just a minute. In every book that I've read, you have two opinions in every book. And what I found is that those that have written the books did the research, did the study, lived among your ancestors, that's right, hung out with them, watched their customs, watched their festivals, they observed many days and years their rituals, spoken of over in the book of Leviticus. And then you have those that want to rebut what they said, but they bring forth no evidence. I found out that the people that are doing the rebuttals are the same people responsible for the murder, mayhem, and bloodshed of your ancestors. Look at the name of this book again. Indians are Jews by Manasseh ben Israel, the hope of Israel. He telling you, you Jews. That's what he basically telling you, that you so-called Native Americans are part of the Jew family. That's right, the 12 tribes of Israel. Let's see what's in this book. I'm going to read just a little bit out of here. Not much, just a little. I'm going to start right there. Let's see if I can get it for you. Come on, camera. Look at that. The belief that the Americans were of the ten lost tribes, talking about the ten tribes, talking about you Native Americans. The belief that the Americans were of the ten lost tribes of Israel held the upper hand for centuries. In the face of the mystery of the Indians' origin, 
it was necessary to find a biblical or at least an ancient authority for their presence. And through the 19th century, most people knew enormous amounts about the Bible and the people therein, and virtually nothing about other cultural schemes. Consequently, they could easily find parallels between the strange customs of the Hebrews and similar ones in America. Do you see that? Did you see that? Your ancestors was practicing the same customs. That's right. Of the Hebrews over in Jerusalem. There's another particular passage they have in here. For all of you out there saying that the Mexicans are not of the ten tribes, let's see. Let's see if I can get it for you. Remember, this book was written in 1652. This book is over 300 years old. See if I can get it for you. Come on, Captain. Like so many others, King became passionately convinced that the Mexican Indians were in reality descendants of the lost 10 tribes. You see that? Now let me show you the year this book was printed. These people know who we are. Don't let, them, let brothers coming on in and talking about who, who is who and who not. Go read a book. This book was printed when? Come on, camera. 1652. How many years is that? 1652. This book was originally printed. See that? 1652. Indians are Jews. Wake up. We're not out here just shooting from our hips telling you who you are. The scholars know who you are. That's right. They know who you are. Let's see if I can find something else in here. Let's see what he was saying about your ancestors. Listen to this. In proof of American Indians being descended from the Jews, they are their divisions into tribes, their worship of Jehovah. Now remember, during the time of King Solomon, when he passed away and the kingdom was rent from his hand, Jeroboam and Rehoboam, that's right, Rehoboam took Judah. Jeroboam took the other 10 tribes. They made two bull calves. Name one Jehovah, name the other one Yahweh. So here he's saying, they still worshiping Jehovah. Their worship of Jehovah, their notions of theocracy, the belief in the ministration of angels, their language and dialects, their manner, of counting time, their prophets, they had prophets and high priests, their festivals, they were still keeping the festivals, fast, they were still fasting, and religious rites, their daily sacrifice, they were still doing daily sacrifices, their abortions, ab 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 ablutions, and anointings, their laws of uncleanness, their abstinence from unclean things, their marriage, divorce, and punishment for adultery, their several punishments, their cities of refuge. They had cities of refuge over here. You know, over in the book of Numbers, when you killed somebody and you made it to the city of refuge, you had to stay there as long as the priest lived. And when the priest died, you can leave. They were practicing that still. Their purification and ceremonies preparatory for war, their ornaments, their manner of curing the stick, 
their burial of the dead, their mourning of the dead, the raising of seeds to a deceased brother. They were still practicing raising seed to a deceased brother. Now the devil don't teach you all this. Their choice of names adapted to their circumstances and the times, their own traditions, the accounts of the English writer and the testimony which the Spanish and other authors have given concerning the primitive inhabitants of Peru and Mexico. This is on page 49 of the Hope of Israel. Look at that. They got proof, facts, documentation. You see that? Look at that. Belief in administration of aim. Look at that. Brothers and sisters out there, you are the tribe of Gad. You are the tribe of Issachar. This is just one book I have. And watch this. They didn't intend for me to get this book. I want you to see something. Look at that red. Officially what? This book was discarded. College of the Desert Library. This was in the trash. Or this was going to the trash. But I got it before it got to the trash. See that? You a Jew. I got another one here. This is a star in the West. Classic reprint series. A humble attempt to discover the long lost 10 tribes of Israel, preparatory to their return to their beloved city, Jerusalem. Talking about you, Native Americans. Look at that. A star in the West. This book is awesome. This book is awesome. A Star in the West. Forgotten Books. Written by Elias Bootnot. See that? Forgotten Books. Of course they wanted to be forgotten. They don't want you to get this information. This book goes so far as to tell the story. This, bo this book got prophecy in it. This book is full of Bible prophecy. This man tells the story about the so-called Native Americans and Mexicans and all of them being uh, banished by their God to this place called America. And that when they wake up and return to their God, it'll be the end of the Roman Empire. Yeah, that's in this book. That when we begin to wake up and come back to our God, it will be mean the end for the Roman Empire. That's in this book, A Star in the West, Written by Elias Boutinot, Forgotten Books. Of course, you gotta go get this one. A Dare's History of the American Indian. This guy lived among your ancestors for 40 years. The History of the American Indians. Look at that. Let's see what he got to say. on the cover. Let me take the cover off. See if I can let you see. See if I can let you see. See if we can get it. Published in London in 1775 and printed in the United States in 1930 for the first time. This is a detailed and fascinating account of the principal tribes of the Indians of the Southeast and of their countries. It is regarded by the ethnologists and historians as reliable authority on the Southern Indians as well as the Southern history. A man of liberal education and persuasion and an agent or a traitor under George III, James Adair, set out not only to write all he knew about the physical qualities, dress, and temper of the Indians, 
but also to prove his theory that the Indians were the lineal descendants of the lost tribes of Israel. This descent, Adair writes, I shall endeavor to prove from their religious rights, here we go again, civil and marital customs, their marriages, funeral ceremonies, manners, language, traditions, and a variety of particulars. Hello, he proved that you're not an Indian, you a Jew, whoever you think you are. And you trying to figure out why we so dogmatic on trying to tell you who you are. Because it's time to wake up. It's time to come out of your sleep. It's time to accept your identity before it's too late. Because once again, time is running out. You either going to accept your true identity as a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Gad, from the tribe of Issachar, or you going to die in modern day Christianity. That's the only option you got. You either repent of the sins of your forefathers, repent from worshiping that false image of C.J. Borgia, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, because you're going to die if you follow in that, when this God come back. This God don't like images. He got a problem with images. <laughs> he got a problem with idolatry, too. So I made this short video for some of you so-called Native Americans out there who may be sitting on the fence, just to show you three books. I got four. I got books that, that you can't even, uh, that don't even, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, watch this. So you don't think I'm, so you don't think I'm just talking. I got books that are not even in print no more. You had to get them off the internet. That's right. Look at this book. The Hope of Israel. Presumptive evidence that the Aborigines of the Western Hemisphere are descended from the 10 missing tribes of Israel. Do you see that? People, this is what you call research. We have went out and got the information to bring it back to you, to tell you, you are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See this? This is in the vine. They don't even make this book no more. Got another one. That's in the vine. Look how thick this thing is. These people did research. Look at the name of this book. The Ten Tribes of Israel, historically identified with the Aborigines of the Western Hemisphere. Barbara and Simon. See that? I got all this information. Why? I got to have all this information because I live up here with them. I live up here with them. That's right. These people have documented history who you guys are. And I don't want you to take my word for it. Look what this book was. Look what this information is in. Harvard Divinity School. That's look at that Harvard. So the elite know who you are. You better wake up before it's too late. Let me show you this other one one more time. I want to show you where it's from. Harvard College Library. Oh, this is in the library. The Rose and Nathan Frank Friendlander. Judaica Book Farm. What year is that? 1982. Look at that. We know what we're talking about, people. 
for you so-called Native Americans. You my brother. I just thought I'd make this short video to show you the facts that will break the liars' backs. Oh, I like that. To show you the facts that will break the liars' backs. <laughs> so this is El Dio from One Nation. Wake up, so-called Native Americans. You a Jew. <laughs> you a Jew. <laughs> yeah, by Manasseh ben Israel, the hope of Israel. There you go. Indians are Jews, question mark. So wherever you thought you were, <laughs> you a Jew. <laughs> May the most high keep you. <laughs> May the most high bless you. May the most high watch over you. This is El Dayo from One Nation, One Power. Shalom. When I say he rose up, he must.